At one point, I thought they should have reworked the title to say Fleischman is knocking him down. Because at one point, after he kind of picks himself up from the realization that he's divorced, um, he gets um, some some dating app advice from some co-workers. And Fleischman is going to town. Black, white, brown, Puerto Rican, Haitian, a slim, thick, a little on the heavier side. Fleischman knocking them all down. He is taking all smash challenges, all right? Like, Fleischman was getting it in. So, matter of fact, that's what the top maybe should have been. Fleischman is getting it in. Hey, what's going on, folks? Another episode of Just My Opinion with Ryan, a.k.a. Ryan Reviews Everything. And you see the uh, subscribe button, do me a huge favor and hit that for your boy. Let's get into it. I'm talking about, um, I'm three episodes in, I'm all caught up on Fleischman is in trouble. And just want to do a quick overview. Um, I do think I will, not think, I am going to start doing, you know, episode recaps on, from this point forward or the next time I talk about Fleischman is in trouble. But yeah, I, this is one of my new favorite shows. Uh, well. This is one of the new shows I look forward to watching. I put it that way. Um, I know Favor can be kind of a big deal. But yeah, I, I'm liking this so far. This is something I look forward to watching every week. Um, for those who are, well, let's talk about the cast first and then I'll give you a brief overview what uh, Fleischman is in trouble is about. Um, definitely a lot of well-known um, folks in this. Um, we have Jesse Eisenberg who plays Toby Fleischman. Um, the the uh, ex-wife is played by Claire Danes. Um, we also have Lizzie, Lizzie Kaplan, and we have Adam Brody, which on a side note, I really hate that Startup didn't come back, man. Startup was a, a, a great show in my opinion, but that's besides the point. Uh, for those who aren't familiar, uh, Fleischman is in Trouble it is actually based off of a book that came out in 2019. Um, the author is Taffy Broadiser uh, Axner, and I believe she's also uh, responsible for the screenplay of this as well, or you know, writing the TV show. Um, I hope I didn't butcher her name, um, but that's the person who uh, actually had a novel about this about three years ago. And so let's get into it. Uh, Fleischman is in trouble. Uh, it's about uh, a New York couple who is going through a divorce. I believe it, I believe it's kind of final, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but nevertheless, Toby Fleischman is really trying to get his life together in some form or fashion after the divorce. Um, and... Uh, Rachel, who's played by Claire Danes, is being probably the best deadbeat ex-wife you can be. Um, that's the best way I could put it. So he's really just trying to um, manage through that. Um, uh, no thanks to no thanks to Claire Danes' character. Um, how can I put it? Uh, for example, uh, one of the biggest mysteries um, that's going on. Um, is that they're trying he's trying to co-parent with uh with with rachel rachel is definitely not making it easy it's to the point to where <clears throat> rachel doesn't even text her kids back um they have two kids um and so she's like a deadbeat co-parent um um there might be some minor, minor spoiler um alerts here but um there's even one to one point we actually i actually thought that okay maybe she's unresponsive because she's dead something dangerous has happened to her but no, um, there are like other um, uh, gems that are dropped throughout the uh, three episodes that sh that tell uh, you otherwise. You know, it's not like it's not that she's not responding responding because she's dead or anything. She's just not responding. She is like I said, just a deadbeat co-parent, asshole of an ex-wife. And this show is so good, like it really makes me dislike this character um another thing i really enjoy about this show it really um there's definitely a good number of flashbacks throughout some of these episodes but it really shows you like how people can how marriage can really change people um for the worse um example um you know toby fleischman you know was you know try, was really trying to go through that whole happy wife happy life mindset to the point to where he kind of you know faded away from his true friends like there's a point to where there's like a flashback or something to where um he takes uh the the, the married couple goes to a party 
Um, immediately, you could tell that um, Rachel, the wife at the time, wasn't feeling um, Toby's friends, and she made some you know bullshit excuse that they had to leave the party early, this and the third. And immediately, because he's married, he's going to take the wife's side. And, you know, even if it means at the expense of, you know, you know, dropping off the face of the earth, dropping off the face of the earth when it comes to uh, his friends. So and even despite all that, like you still get a divorce anyway. So it really can show you how people can change. Um, there are some bright sides um, that I find to it, some funny sides to it uh, is that, it, that there, there is some dry comedy here and there. Um, at one point, I thought they should have reworked the title to say Fleischman is knocking him down. Because at one point, after he kind of picks himself up from the realization that he's divorced, um, he gets um, some some dating app advice from some co-workers. And Fleischman is going to town. Black, white, brown, Puerto Rican, Haitian, a slim, thick, a little on the heavier side. Fleischman knocking them all down. He is taking all smash challenges, all right? Like, Fleischman was getting it in. So, matter of fact, that's what the top maybe should have been. Fleischman is getting it in, um, especially after episode two. Uh, but nah, I really enjoyed this, man. Uh, I highly recommend anyone watch it. Um, I really want to, I, I, I really am on the edge of my seat to see where the rest of the series goes because I really want to find out what's the legitimate excuse of this woman just being like this deadbeat co-parent um, even more of a bitchier ex-wife and she's doing all this by not even responding it's almost like she just cut off her ex-husband and her kids it's like she it's almost like she wants to start a new life and just is radio silent to to the people she brought into this world as well as this person that she used to be married to so that's just my opinion man i really enjoy it um Hope you all can check it out as well. If you if you have seen it, let me know what you think of the show as well. Love it or hate it, folks. These are just my opinions. These are just my reviews. Peace.